Hi, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan and in this video we will be speaking about retrieving the extending capsule axis, the rules of the game, particularly when the capsule axis has gone already into the zonules. It's a tough situation to be in and we have to salvage this capsule axis. If you cross paths with zonules, you are in trouble. So how to avoid that? Let's see and let's understand the rules of the game. It's best to avoid crossing path with the zonules. Whenever the capsule axis goes beyond central 6.5 mm, it is likely to cross into zonular area and once the tear is in the zonular area there is a high chance of extension beyond the lens edge so how to bring the capsule axis back let's understand rules of the game when capsule axis tear has gone into zonules it is being pulled outward by the zonules and considering the physics involved in this situation we have to pull the tear inside exactly opposite to the vector of the zonular traction. When you pull it exactly opposite, then only it will come inside. But the first common mistake done is pulling it tangentially, which is more intuitive when we are doing capsule axis. But then the resultant vector is still outward and that's why we find the capsule axis tear still going outward when you are pulling this capsule axis tear tangentially and not centripetally. So understanding the play between these forces is very important to bring the capsule axis back inside. Second common mistake which is done is to inject excessive OVD resulting in overinflation of the anterior chamber. Just watch this case where the surgeon overinflates the anterior chamber using 2% HPMC and what you find is that the zonules start pulling this capsule axis tear even more outward because of overinflation. It can be explained in this animation where overinflation of the anterior chamber will push the lens iris diaphragm backward causing more zonular stretch and pulling of the capsule axis outward. So overinflation of AC is as problematic as shallowing of AC. Try to keep the AC optimally filled rather than causing overinflation. Now the solution is quick pull. Dr. Brian Little manual works better when the tear has not still extended way into the zonules while for these kind of situation this quick pull technique works better. Now watch how it is done. Approach has to be exactly opposite to the area where the tear has gone outwards and that is the swift and quick pull which is must. We'll see again how the quick pull is must. Quick pull will balance the zonular force in a much better way as you can see here if you try to pull this very gradually again the tear still continues to go tangentially out and with quick pull the tear comes inside you can watch this closely as the surgeon pulls it more swiftly the tear comes inside so in this technique it's not just the centripetal pull but it is also how quickly you pull the tear is very important so again to demonstrate how it has to be quick here the surgeon is trying to gradually or slowly pull the extending tear inside but is failing to do that the reason is that the tractional pull of the zonule is still higher so to negate that one must pull it quickly centripetally like this and once it is pulled quickly you can see the capsule axis tears come inside and further extension can be prevented and we can get a good
complete capsule rexis of course there are situation where the quick pull technique will not work or should not be tried of course do not use this technique if the zonules are very weak in this case the capsule rexis are extended because of shallowing of the anterior chamber now the surgeon is using heavy ovd to make sure that the anterior chamber is optimally filled and not overfilled now the surgeon is going to try quick pull but watch here if you imagine these two lines of the tear they are meeting beyond the lens edge so do not try quick pull in this maneuver in case of doubt you can also retract the iris to visualize the edge of the capsule rexis tear if it has already reached the lens edge avoid because attempting quick pull in such case can result in extension of to the posterior capsule or zonular dialysis so the rules of the game are first one is not to over inflate the anterior chamber rather keep it optimally filled if required use heavy dispersive or cohesive ovd the rule number 2 is that if these lines meet beyond the lens edge do not try to quick pull also you can watch for this edge by retracting the iris the third rule is approach always from the opposite incision and from a small side incision to keep the anterior chamber maintained and fourth is that quick central pull is the key of success so do not hesitate to pull it quickly so let's bring it on and bring it in with the rules of the game thank you